two empires. And these two behemoths square off. Champion versus champion. Two rivals who, for the first time, are standing face to face. Who is going to emerge? One home to the toughest test in MMA. This kid means business. Oh! The other, a ruthless gauntlet of fierce competitors. Drop with the right hand! Both have champions. Heavyweight champion of the world! And rising contenders. Great Unbelievable! King King. And now, they collide. Oh! Problema! For the first time in history, PFL champs versus Bellator champs. Mama mia! The best against the best. Oh, and put the Including two giants who clash for the heavyweight crown. Oh! The six foot eight PFL problem. Problema with the championship! Versus Bellator's Darth Destroyer. Ryan Darth Champs versus champs. PFL champs. Bellator champs. Champs versus champs. The first time in history. Let's go! Oh my god! This is how legends are forged. King against King. What a battle that is gonna be. PFL champs versus Bellator champs. Welcome, fight fans, to Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Mixed martial arts has arrived in the kingdom, and it's not just any fight night, it is an historic night as we go champs versus champs, PFL versus Bellator. Fighters already in the building. There's the grandson of Muhammad Ali, Biagio Ali Walsh, making his highly anticipated pro debut. And how about the return of the Gwoth? Clarissa Shields brings all of her boxing credentials back to the smart cage, looking to build some momentum. Welcome to our pre-fight show brought to you by DraftKings. Here is our pay-per-view fight card, and it is a huge one. Peyton Fajera, Ryan Bader in a heavyweight main event, and stellar co-main and champs versus champs all the way down. Some fearsome competitors in Thiago Santos, Joel Romero. That will finish our night. We'll start the night with an early card. How about that Henry Corrales, Aaron Pico featured bout? That is a rematch five years in the making. I mentioned Biagio Ali Wallace, Clarissa Shields, and a couple of rising Saudi stars at the beginning of their mixed martial arts careers. Very happy to be here in the kingdom beside the smart cage. A couple of legendary mixed martial arts champions and also Chael Sonnen. I, of course, am Sean O'Connell. That is Randy Couture. Welcome to the pre-fight show. Fellas, all jokes aside, I am very, very happy to be here. We've been dreaming about this in mixed martial arts for a very long time. You take the great fighters from one organization, you pit them against the great fighters from another organization, and you see who's best. Chael, I know which way you're leaning. Yeah, don't try to make nice with me. We're all gonna be broadcast partners starting tomorrow. Tonight, I stand with Bellator. I've been speaking to Scott Coker all day. I spoke to him tonight. You wanna know what he told me recently? He said, I might be retired, Chael, but it starts tomorrow. Tonight, I finished what was started so long ago. Easy, killer. It's the PFL night tonight, and we're here to see what the PFL fighters can do. So step back there, bro. All right, tone it down just a little bit, fellas. We got a long show to get through. Let's talk about our main event, though. I already told you what it was. Heavyweight champion from the PFL, Hayna Fajera versus heavyweight champion from Bellator. That, of course, is Ryan Bader. Let's talk about Problema. Six feet, eight inches tall, a Brazilian knockout machine. The problem is, if he was born in the USA, he would be playing for an NFL team, a tight end right now. I know that for sure. Number two and number three fastest knockouts in the heavyweight division. This guy is as athletic as they come. He changed camps this season, moved to top team, shored up some areas that he felt like he's had some weaknesses in, blew through the competition, beat the number one seed, the Russian Dennis Goldsoff, in a TKO in the second round to be a world champion in 2023. He's on fire. He had a very busy year in 2023. Now, Ryan Bader, he's been away from the cage for about a year. Does that become a factor tonight? Well, everything that Mr. Expendables 4 just told us is very true about Fahir. And by the way, I love the football reference. If my athletic skills ever diminish, maybe I get an injury, I'll probably join the NFL as well. I got to tell you this, though. When it comes to Ryan Bader, he's completely undefeated at heavyweight. A lot of people miss that. He spent his, half of his career light heavyweight, then he went to the heavyweight division. Not only has he won every fight, he's only gotten the distance since one time he won the Grand B, he won the tournament. I talk about him being undefeated. He's also the reigning 
champion. He's got his eyes fully locked on Francis. My biggest concern is that he's overlooking tonight's task. All right, it's not just those heavyweights that are here in Riyadh. We've got some other heavyweight legends that are gonna be at the fights tonight. Francis Ngannou will be in attendance. Though There's a good reason for that because Francis Ngannou made the announcement a couple of days ago that he will take on tonight's winner when he returns to the sport of mixed martial arts. And of course, Mike Tyson, multiple time world heavyweight champion in boxing, one of the most feared competitors in the history of combat sports. He's here to wrap a couple belts around some waist later on. We have the full crew here in Riyadh because this is the biggest event in the history of PFL and the history of Bellator. And I wish you could be here for our outdoor setup at Kingdom Arena. For more on that, I send it to the outlaw, Dan Hart. Thank you very much, Sean O'Connell. I am here in the fighter walkout tunnel. And I have to be honest, my heart is racing. I am surrounded by lights and screens. And this is the moment as I walk over this champs v champs screen that I'm standing on, the fighters will walk out and see the arena, see the crowd. It is an overwhelming setup, I have to be honest. It is, it is incredible. These fights are gonna be excited to compete here for these fans, for you guys on the pay-per-view. It's gonna be an incredible night. History is being made in KSA, and we've got a great team, as Sean said. I'm gonna pass you over to one of my favorite fighters of all time. He's in the smart cage. Josh the Punk Thompson, over to you. Thanks, Dan, I appreciate it. Look, most of these fighters are gonna have to make an adjustment tonight because they are fighting outside in Riyadh. The weather is beautiful. It's electric here tonight. The crowd is starting to fill in. It's gonna be a fantastic night. But one thing to keep an eye on, how do they make the adjustments as the fight goes on? Do they drink more water between rounds? Those type of things that we're gonna try to keep an eye on for you throughout the night. But what their ultimate goal is to try and take home the gold. And if they can do that, okay, this is gonna be one of the most newest and nicest belts. And there's gonna be more on that belt right now with Amanda. Well, Josh, speaking of that belt, so many people on social media saying this is now the best belt in MMA because take a look at this. We teamed up with the people that make Super Bowl rings. There is a ring in this belt. Fighters can now wear year round. It is full of diamonds. It is absolutely gorgeous. Not only that, after fighters fight whoever wins, they're going to get to plant the Bellator flag or the PFL flag here on stage. We'll see who has the most at the very end. Sean, I'm going to send it back down to you. I know you got a belt. You can't steal the ring, my friend. This belongs to the fighters. Amanda, I am going to get myself one of those rings one way or another. Don't forget, tonight's historic main card is only available on pay-per-view. That's ESPN Plus in the USA and around the world on DAZN. For those of you in the US, scan the QR code on your screen. Go to ESPNplus.com slash PFL to buy. Fans around the world, sign up at DAZN.com to purchase now. Do not miss the biggest night in mixed martial arts this year. I told you the whole crew is weighing in on this historic card. Let's send it out to the experts, Jonathan Coachman and Ian Parker. Huge main events and a lot more to come when we come back to the DraftKings pre-fight show in Riyadh. 2023 PFL Heavyweight Champion of the World in The defending Bellator Heavyweight World Champion, Ryan Dar. Fajera, he is indeed a problem. Vader, a three-time Pac-10 champion, and a man who wants to cement his legacy. These two championship-caliber fighters, who is going to emerge as king at heavyweight? Oh, it's a one-two good night. What a shot from Lima with the first-round finish. Oh, oh, the right hand, sir. blocking, Ruzovski, the striking, and Vader exploding. Ryan Dirk Bader looking to hammer his way to history.
تسمعوا لي اعلى صوت واعلى واحد راح سمع لي صوت راح اعطي تي شيرت مقدمه من البطوله عندي تي شيرتين عندي تي شيرتين من البطوله يلا الرياض جاهزين يلا تخيلوا انا واحد من المقاتلين داخل على المسرح من فريق بي اس ال انا داخل بي اس ال سيرت نوت باد حلو 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 مين بده التي شيرت مين بده التي شيرت هاي اول تي شيرت عندي كثير تي شيرتات راح اعطيهم اليوم لكل من الفريقين بي اس ال وبلاتور طيب هلا راح نجرب فريق بلاتور انا عارف انه انتم راح تسموني اعلى صوت من فريق بي اس ال صراحه ما كثير شجعوني الشباب هون اوكي تخيلوا انا من منافسين البلاتور جاهزين فريق بلاتور سمعوني اعلى صوت Can you please help me to pass on these t-shirts to one of the fans over there? Amazing. This is going to be a legendary night, ladies and gentlemen. Happening for the very first time in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Hadam Ussuri wa la arwa yuqam fi madinat al-Riyadh li awwal marra fi al-Tariq. MMA fans, show me your hands up in the air. MMA fans in the building. Amazing. Sold out show happening tonight in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. But right now, we gotta go back to our amazing and incredible DJ Riyadh. Sam'oon ya'ala tahiyya la our DJ, DJ Anna Dufran! Welcome back to the pre-fight show. Just a quick reminder for you. Here is our pay-per-view card. Hayna Fahera, Ryan Bader in the main event. We talked about that a little bit. An incredible co-main Ipika Sunganai and Johnny Evelyn. That's a 205-pound champ and a middleweight champ, also an undefeated middleweight champ in Johnny Evelyn. I want to talk about that right now. Sean O'Connell and Chael Sonnen and Randy Couture here beside the PFL Smart Cage. Let's start with Ipika Sunganai. This is his sixth fight in less than one year. Less than 365 days, he'll be making the walk a sixth time, Randy. Imbika Sunga and I didn't start training in mixed martial arts until he was 24 after playing college football. He said, no, my parents, I'm not gonna go get my master's degree. I'm gonna be a fighter. He said, I'm gonna be a world champion. And from that point forward, I've acted like a world champion. This guy won the Challenger Series, blew through the regular season, beat Colt, meaning Silveri in the finals by TKO, he has been on fire, and this is his sixth fight in this year. Remarkable athlete, conditioning is on point, and he's gonna need that tonight. Impa wins a 205 pound championship and the million dollars that goes with it in the PFL, and he says, you know what? I'm willing to take on the nastiest challenge you could find me, Bellator, and they said, all right, how about Johnny Eblen, an undefeated world champion? What do we need to know about Johnny? And look, nobody loves an Ipa story more than Randy, but I gotta tell you, I'll see that resume and I'll raise you an undefeated Johnny Eblen. Take a look at this guy. This is the Bellator champion. This is the guy that got that belt the hard way. He went right through, and I mean right through, the legend Gegard Vesalzi. On top of everything, Eblen is the consensus number one fighter in the world. This is what people leave. Look, I know people have been counting Ipa out, and Ipa does some of his best work when his back is against the wall, but Johnny Eplin represents the future of this division. Let's take a closer look at this stellar champs versus champs co-main event. Ipa Kasunganai, 14 pro victories in his career. He's found a new year for finishes here in the PFL. The power of the reigning and defending Bellator middleweight champion, Johnny Evelyn. Johnny pressures the one to pour it on. Going at 185 in Johnny's so-called weight class. When I claim that victory, he's the real Bellator champion. I am better than Impa in every facet of the game. I'm just a different animal. Oh! Hook up gets dropped by the right hand from Evelyn. Evelyn's going to unload and lands a nice combination. Kasanganai understands the assignment here to take Karen out of this round. Oh, oh big, big shot! Ice is for the Evelyn! There's that left hand that we're talking oh, about. The right goes up down. Goes down. Johnny Evelyn pouring on the pressure oh, and the crowd oh. is deep out. Looking for the jump. 
He's looking very peculiar. Oh, he's got it. He's got it in tight. Oh, I don't care if I'm tired. I don't care if I'm sick. I don't care if I'm hurt. I'm on a path. I think I'm one of the best in the world, if not the best. You only get to see that Cobain event if you buy the pay-per-view. If you're in the United States of America, that's ESPN Plus. ESPN.com slash PFL. That's how you go buy it. If you're part of our worldwide audience, DAZN, DAZN.com. Sign up and buy the pay-per-view. You do not want to miss that stellar co-main event and certainly not our main event either. All right, I told you we had the full crew here. We've got a bunch of legends on the commentary tonight, and that includes Big John McCarthy, who joins us remotely. Big John, so happy you're part of the broadcast tonight. Correct me if I'm wrong, I think you'll be weighing in on rules, on some of the decisions that are happening, on how the judges see these fights. Glad to have you here. Hey, thank you so much, John. It's incredible. One of the big things with the rules is elbows are allowed during this evening. This is a special evening, and... PFL fighters during the season cannot use elbows because they don't want cuts, but tonight they can use those. The Bellator fighters are used to it, but the PFL fighters, I believe, have an advantage because now they're going to have openings to utilize a, a tool to do damage that before they could not use. I know this, Big John, in talking with the fighters in our meetings this week, those PFL fighters who finally get to use that tool are very, very excited about it. We've talked about exactly. the main event. We've talked about the co-main event. I want to know for Big John McCarthy, what's the matchup that really draws your interest on our pay-per-view card? Oh, it's the opening fight of the pay-per-view is dynamite. Clay Collard against AJ McKee is absolutely a fight that has to deliver. Clay Collard goes to the body like no fighter you've ever seen. They're both young. Clay's been fighting forever, but he's only 30. AJ's 27, 28. AJ is an amazing athlete. The difference here between the two, they're both good on the feet. Clay's a little bit better though, a little bit more compact, but AJ on the ground is special. He's got a catch wrestling style of jujitsu. Clay Collard cannot find himself on his back for very long and be safe against AJ McKee. Thank you, Big John. He'll be lending his expertise throughout the night here for the biggest card in PFL and Bellator history from Riyadh. For more, let's send it back out to our experts, Jonathan Coachman and Ian Parker. Clay Collard and AJ McKee, a fight like that is what makes people fans of the sport of mixed martial arts. This is a dream matchup in everybody's book. PFL Ball Bellator, this is still my house. You know, he's coming to my house. Mercenary is what I am. I'm hired to do a job and I go in there and I do my job and come home. McKee dropping an elbow and another elbow. I say this every time, my striking's better. Left hook with Cassius Clay. That's just a fact. Jimmy Ray hurts, down. I think he's gonna try to wrestle me like everybody else. This is a pace that favors Clay Calder right now. And I'm the scramble king, so I'm gonna teach him how to wrestle. There's a kick to head kick by McKee! Mamma mia! He's tough, he's gonna keep coming, he's relentless, he's got the striking. But it's my first fight in PFL, so I'm looking forward to just going in there. I haven't finished somebody in a while, so I'm going to just try to do it. And they are swinging for the fences. 
It's just another feather in the cap. He's a tough guy. I like beating up tough guys, so just knock that feather, baby. Welcome back to the DraftKings pre-fight show. We are in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, the kingdom playing host to a massive pay-per-view card. PFL champs versus Bellator champs. Huge main event, really interesting co-main. Champ versus champ, that's Cooper and Jackson. Champ versus champ in Kapaloza Nemkov, who you just heard from Big John about the collar to McKee. We'll build towards that, all right? But we're gonna start the action early card. On the zone, on ESPN Plus. Look at that. Biagio Ali Walsh, a lightweight feature against Emmanuel Palacio. And you, there's no amateur status here. This is not an amateur fight. Biagio Ali Walsh, for the first time in his young career, is getting taped up and ready to make his professional mixed martial arts debut. The grandson of the legendary Muhammad Ali. You know, everyone knows you, Muhammad Ali's grandson. There's a lot of pressure on your name. The pressure is going to always be there. How you deal with the pressure is what's more important. Oh, oh what a shot! Oh, oh, my hand! That's it. That'll do it! That's your Ali Walsh! Nice. Unleashes hell! Oh, that hurt him! The way he lands! There he goes! Beyond your Ali Walsh! Hey, the stop it! We've heard you may be thinking about turning pro. Do you feel ready? Oh! I'm gonna fight again, and then after that, I'm gonna fight again, and then after that, I'm gonna fight again. Make a name for myself. Oh, he's out! He's out! My goodness, what a knockout! I'm gonna make my own legacy. A superstar in the making, Biagio Ali Walsh! So, a lot of pressure on the shoulders of Muhammad Ali's grandson. So far in his career, he's handled it like a champion. We'll see what happens tonight. And you know, Biagio caught up with Josh Thompson earlier. I'm here with Biagio, Ali Walsh. Ali Walsh, let me ask you a question. Sure. Growing up as Muhammad Ali's grandson, what was that like? And we talked this week, you said you kind of shied away from that. Yeah, you know, uh, I, I never asked to be Muhammad Ali's grandson, it's just who I am. Um, my whole life I've been just trying to find, trying to fight to just create my own name. You know, um, I want people to know me for me and uh, that's uh, it happened with football and now MMA, so it's always something I'm fighting for. You had a very successful MMA career in terms of amateurs. Now tonight is your pro debut. What should we expect? Uh, the same thing that I usually do. You know, I always look to come in here and, and put on a dominant performance and finish. 
What was different from your amateur career to this fight? Um, really, the only difference is that it matters now. Um, you know, the stage is still the same. Uh, I think fighting outside in, in the Middle East is really, really cool. So maybe the location makes a difference. But other than that, you know, the stage, the production, everything else is the same. Back to you, Sean. One great fight to look forward to on our early card, but certainly not the only one. And for a couple of more features, let's send it over to Dan Hardy and Amanda Guerra. Thank you, Sean. We are absolutely spoiled for choice on this card, all the way from bottom, all the way to the pay-per-view card. But tell me which fight stands out to you on the undercard. I have to be selfish, right? I have to be biased. I'm going with the women on this card. We have Clarissa Shields going up against Kelsey DeSantis, the first MMA event for women in Saudi Arabia. That in itself is incredible. We talked to both women who are absolutely honored to be on this historic card tonight. However, a lot of people have questions about Clarissa Shields stepping back into the cage. Of course, we know her as Clarissa Shields Shields, the boxer, two-time Olympic gold medalist. She is undefeated in her career. When she first went to MMA back in 2021, won the first fight, lost the second. She said, if you think that loss is going to deter me, you've got something coming. A lot of trash talking in this one, but I'm surprised there's not trash talking on another fight. Aaron Pico going against Henry Corrales. I mean, this is a rematch. You're supposed to trash talk, right? Well, that is my pick for the undercard. I love a rematch. I love the opportunity to get payback. And if you look at Aaron Pico's career since then, he's won eight fights and he's look absolutely fantastic but if you go back to that first fight it was just over a minute long Pico came out guns blazing he caught his opponent dropped Corrales to the canvas but Corrales was able to regroup got back to his feet and was able to catch Pico in an exchange Pico hit the canvas but of course he's had a long and storied career since then and this is going to be a really good opportunity to get some payback back to you guys this has never happened before in Riyadh more from Riyadh and that means fights coming next Champion.